So, hi! About one and a half years ago, I made a video called I Will Hate These Books, aka my one star predictions video. At the time, a ton of five star predictions videos went up and I just, I wanted to be different, you know? <laughs> I wanted to predict which books I would probably hate and Normal People by Sally Ruder was an absolute contender for me. I don't remember what I said in that video, why I was afraid of picking up this book. So let's watch it back together to see why I thought this book might be a one star rating. Okay, so here we have my one star predictions video. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and whoa, oh, look at baby Sabine. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't changed that much from one and a half years ago, just my hair color. Okay, let's go to Normal People. Okay, here we go. What did I say about Normal People? And then the last book that I wanted to talk about is super popular. I am very excited to watch the show at one point though, because I've heard amazing things about that. I watched the show as well, and I will share my opinions on that too. But I have heard mixed opinions about Normal People by Sally Rooney and then specifically the book. One hand, I think it's gonna be a beautiful book about like exploring relationships between people and how they can change over the years. But because apparently they like keep on meeting each other and kind of like breaking up, meeting again, breaking up and like goes on and on and on is what I got from the synopsis and from what my friends have been telling me. I have a feeling I might get really frustrated with the character. Characters. I mean, that's like a fair concern. I was just so scared that I would feel extremely frustrated with the main characters probably like not coming to terms with their feelings. More on that later in this video. <laughs> it seems to be kind of like a theme with this video that either the plot is lacking or it is very confusing. And the same is happening with normal people because people said that there is basically no plot. So if we have frustrating like character relationships and no plot, I don't know what is getting me through this story. So those were- Okay, apparently those were my concerns and I feel like they are very, very valid. I don't want to get too into whether my predictions of why it would be a one star for me actually came true because I filmed my reading experience throughout this book. So let's get to that and then I will tell you my final opinion, okay? <laughs> Let's drink some coffee and read some more in Normal People. I'm like 60 pages in and I'm not hating it. What? <laughs> okay, before I continue on reading this book, basically what the back of this book says what it's about, that's what it's about. <laughs> we basically follow Connell and Marianne and they grow up in the same small town in Ireland, but the similarities and their Connell is really popular and Marianne is not. She's actually one of the most hated people in school for reasons that are kind of like unknown to me. I think because she's very blunt and just says the things that she thinks and they strike up a friendship that becomes more and you basically follow their relationship throughout the years. I think it's gonna be very toxic. That's at least like my guess because already like Connell doesn't want Marianne to acknowledge him in school and he doesn't want anything about their like relationship to be very obvious to people. Like he doesn't want them to notice the way that they feel like attracted to each other. I thought I would absolutely hate this book until so far, maybe because in my head, literary fiction like this would be equivalent to Call Me By Your Name by Andre Akiman, which I absolutely hated. I DNF that book after 70 pages. And I know this is like, completely different writer and like a different story but for some reason in my head i think call me by your name just left such a bad impression on me <laughs> that i'm just scared every single literary fiction book that i will pick up be somewhat similar like that one there are definitely some quotes in here or parts of the story that i have annotated already because it really reminds me of being in love for the first time and kind of feeling insatuated by that person and feeling really like sexually attracted to someone and i feel like this bug describes that perfectly until so far or at least how i experienced it as well and i'm just really excited and curious to dive more into this book and their relationship and to analyze it. I've heard so many people who also loved the beginning and felt really not that great about the ending of this one. So we shall see in which category I will fall. Okay, so I am 
almost finished with normal people. <laughs> I am on page 200 of normal people, meaning I have only 66 pages left. I'm gonna finish this story either tonight or tomorrow, but damn, these characters are mentally ill. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean that very seriously. Like Marianne, she definitely has an eating disorder. And I've heard some comments online that people critique this book for romanticizing her having an eating disorder. And I definitely can see why people say that because especially looking at Marianne through Connell's eyes, he constantly tells her like how sleek she looks and that she is so beautiful. And I feel like then mainly focusing on like her body weight and how thin she is. And perhaps the way that Connell sees her is kind of like a parallel to how how we as society usually look at people who are really thin. We are as a society, especially praising people when they're super thin or when they have lost weight and you just don't know why someone is thin or why they have lost weight. I mean, some people are like naturally skinny, but others, they develop an eating disorder in order to maintain that like societal image of the perfect body or they punish themselves for all the emotional trauma that they're going through, which is I think the case for Marianne. And Connell definitely has some kind of like social anxiety or when he has like a bad thought, he starts to feel physically ill. And because they are both so occupied with their mental health, they lack communication, which is I think the theme that this book is exploring. What happens when you don't really communicate about your feelings or you just don't know how to do that or you're scared to do it even though you love a certain person so much and you're actually really afraid to lose them or to hurt their feelings and I think this book explores that theme really well and then showcasing the not so positive outcomes of said lack of communication. She also just explores the messiness of people and friendships and relationships and going through college and trying to figure out what to do with your life and I'm liking it Sally. I am. <laughs> Just like a random note, if I have to tell you one character that really carries this novel for me, it's absolutely Lorraine, Connell's mom. She calls out his bullshit <laughs> somewhere at the beginning of the story and I was like, yes, queen, go tell your son to f***ing grow up. We love a mom like that. So I read the book and I actually didn't hate it. I really quite liked it, to be honest, which was everything but what I expected. This story really works out and looks at what it's like when your mental health is just like totally in the gutter and how this affects your relationship with others as well. Both Marianne and Connell are dealing with such internal struggles and especially Marianne, she just has a very, very abusive family. Like her mother is really not loving towards Marianne and her brother is I think the most abusive asshole that I have ever met. He keeps talking her down, telling her that she's not worth anything. He also like physically abuses her. He spits in her face. He throws bottles at her and her mom just doesn't do a thing. So I feel like Marianne is just so hurt mentally, physically, emotionally. It's so sad to see. And I feel like the only person who truly like loves her and cares about her is Connell. But Connell is also struggling through a ton of things. He doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. He is super, super anxious and they both try to help each other and they understand each other. And that is just so unique for them both. But because of all the trauma that they have been through, they find it so hard to communicate with each other about their feelings, them not knowing what they want from each other, them breaking up. It's a vicious cycle and one that I thought I would feel extremely frustrated by, but because Sally Rooney really showed you the intrinsic thoughts of these characters and you knew about their mental health issues, I didn't feel frustrated at all. I just felt really sorry for them. This book definitely is not one with like a happy ending, but if you're into books that explore relationships, really intense relationships, then I would say Normal People is a great book for you. It is quite slow. There's not really any plot, but somehow it still kept me engaged with the story. A slight little concern that I also had at the start of this novel that I do want to like point out is that Sally Rooney's writing style is very different from your usual books because when people are having a conversation with each other, the things that are being said aren't put in like quotation marks. And sometimes, especially at the beginning, I had to really think, oh wait, is this like an internal thought that one of the characters is having or is this an actual conversation? But I quickly got used to that. So if you're afraid of her writing style, then I would say you'll probably get into it rather quickly. But after I finished reading Normal People, I also watched 
the show and I don't think I have ever seen a better book to movie adaptation than with normal people. And also when your boyfriend is on an exchange for five months watching normal people, <laughs> The sex in this show is hot, okay? <laughs> I love the way it was filmed. It was done so beautifully and just like, it was a really emotional show as well. However, I do think that if you haven't read the book, then you will probably feel a lot more frustrated and confused about the choices that Connell and Marianne make. And if you've read the book, you do know their intrinsic thoughts and it makes a lot more sense. So I would recommend reading the book before you watch the show also because it's so short it's like over 250 pages but like barely. So what was my overall experience of reading my one star prediction? It was a surprise like a wonderful surprise and now I really want to read conversations with friends and perhaps also a beautiful world where are you? I don't think I am a Sally Rooney girl. I wouldn't consider myself to be like the biggest biggest fan and this wasn't like a new favorite of mine but I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm excited to read more. So yes, this was a successful experience. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read this book, what your thoughts were, and also if you like the show, if you've seen it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one, which is probably gonna be the biggest unhaul that I've ever done in my entire life. Okay, <laughs> bye.